Hello everyone and welcome to another development update for Shadow Heroes Vengeance in Flames. We get the behind the scenes access to all the things we're currently working on on the game. So yesterday was Thanksgiving to everyone up here in Canada, which means it was a statutory holiday and people didn't have to come in. But you know, we really want to get this out there to the world so we came in and we continued working on the project. Uh, two of the things of key importance that we actually worked on are kind of intertwined together. One of them is an update to the user interface, and the other one is an update to the active version of the equipment system. So the, uh, the update to the user interface involves being able to select units, or individual units, multiple units, doesn't really matter. Uh, but right now we're focusing on just the individual units. So when you select a unit, you should be able to see all of its stats and pieces of information in case you want to know exactly what its health level is at uh, numerically exactly what its damage is with all of that equipment and stuff on it. We want to give you another way of seeing it. We also want you to be able to select your enemy units eventually and see what equipment they have on and see what they're doing. So uh, we started putting that together. On top of that, you should be able to activate those pieces of equipment on your units. So that's kind of where it ties in. So that means the equipment system needed a little bit of an update as well to give you some kind of feedback because you know you don't know if there's going to be a you know area of effect ability or if it's just going to give you a big boost of your stats or uh, if it's going to be something that you cast on a single target we need to give the user some kind of feedback about this so uh, I'm going to switch over to exactly what we're doing here that's doesn't have anything that's not, there we go just wanted me to say okay that's good so uh, yeah we are kind of adding this little decal system inside of here I guess it doesn't want me to save a map that doesn't actually exist uh, so we're adding a decal now the armor bands kind of just one of the items that we test with so it's not actually getting this decal on it this is just gonna be a little stat boost thing but uh, if it were an active item, I'd be able to use this decal. So what happens with the decal is if you click on that item or if you hover over top of one of those effects, there's four, five, five different versions. Sorry, I got notes here. Uh, five different versions of the types of equipments. There's a stat boost, which just generically boosts your stats when you activate the ability. Uh, there's going to be an area of effect around yourself, which will give you a ring, and that's, that's what this one is actually for. Uh, this is casting circle uh, you have an area around a target so you'll get uh, a ring around yourself as well as a ring around the mouse so wherever the mouse goes it'll cast another decal and you'll be able to see the area that it will affect and the range it will affect uh, there's a casting cone so it's like a triangle type of thing I'm sure uh, people are used to it if you've played other games like uh, oh I don't even know. Uh, most MMOs have things like that now. Uh, as well as uh, a single target thing. So you'll get another casting circle of the show. This is the range that you can shoot in. As well as a, another one that will just kind of change the cursor on your icon to show that you're targeting a single person. Uh, so the idea behind a decal, for those who don't actually know what a decal is. Uh, I think I can do this. There you go. This is a decal. So a decal, move this out of the way, is basically a projected image. So the idea would be, uh, let me grab so many windows. Uh, I'm going to grab a unit real quick. So one of the units that would have something like this would be the chanter. I'm going to grab the chanter, put her inside of here. So if that were the Chanter, who for some reason is hovering right there, she'd go like this, okay? So that's where the Chanter goes, and I don't want her to be tinted, which means I need to go under rendering and make sure we see decals is checked off. So I got her, I'm going to go grab the decal again, which is missing. 
and it's going to become a little bit bigger. So it's probably going to go like... So something like that is what you would actually get for this unit. And the reason why I did this for the, uh, the Chanter is because her basic ability is to, you know, buff units around her. Now she has a different one uh, that looks a little prettier than this. This is just kind of a placeholder image for now. But that's the idea behind how decals will work. So you'll note that it actually goes on top of other pieces of terrain. So regardless of where she stands or the height of the of the ground, it would move around with her and it would attach to her. So basically all we're doing right now today is every actor has a spot where these decals will, will attach to depending on which one. All we're doing is figuring out a way to make it so that they toggle on and off properly, which sounds easy enough, but it's a little bit more difficult when it comes to uh, uh, the memory management involved and making sure garbage collection doesn't get rid of them at the wrong times and making sure that they update visually as the character moves and it isn't jittering. Uh, those are some of the little things that we're trying to look at and address uh, at a high level before they become a problem and difficult to deal with at a lower level. So that's kind of where we stand right now uh, coming up with these different casting systems and ways to use our active abilities. So what we want is when you hover over an item it'll show you those as well as if you have multiple items selected it's set up in a way so that if we grow it it's going to compare uh, not the unit type, so you're not going to have to use all Chanter items or all Archangel items or all Demigod items. Uh, if you hover over a, uh, if you see you have a Chanter and a Demigod and like five Hunters selected, and you hover over an armor band, and the Demigod and the Chanter have an armor band, it'll so it'll tell you visually on the screen that those units have it by creating their decals around those units. So it doesn't care about whether or not it's the same type of unit, it cares about them having the same piece of equipment. So as long as they all have the same piece of equipment, then it's fine. You can still use them. So if you equip your entire army with armor bands and you hover over it, any unit in the army will be able to use that armor band. You don't have to tab through different types of unit like in other games. We really wanted it to be simple and easy for you to use those types of items as quickly as possible because you're not going to have typical RTS things like control 1 and control 2 to cycle between groups of armies because you know you're not keeping your units alive you're not making them sit there you don't need to leave and come back to your army nearly as often so we want you to be able to do a quick drag select and know exactly what types of items that you're going to be able to use so that's where we stand right now with the system we should have a lot more of it done today so let us know what you think, leave a comment on our video, tell us what you want to see, and uh, yeah, I guess I'll, I'll see you guys next time.